you're new here, I am Whitney. If not, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I wanted to do a little sit down video, but it's gonna be a very useful one. If you're on a weight loss journey, this is for you. So, this is gonna be easy, low calorie swaps that just make your life easier. So, it's something that's a small change, but big effect, you know what I mean? It's a small swap with but big change when it comes to calories. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Let's get in. First thing we're gonna talk about is an easy, easy swap. Let me grab it. If you're a mayonnaise girl like I am, switch to a light mayo. I know it's a little to get used to, but trust me, we switched because this is only 50 calories a serving, which is still a lot for a tablespoon, but our regular one was 100 calories per tablespoon. And if you're not measuring this, and you're layered it on, that can add up so quick. Um, oh, I also wanted to add in that I weighed in and I am down about five pounds. That's exciting from the first. So I'm losing it sustainably. I'm losing it slowly. It's coming off. I'm very happy. So number one is going to be mayo. Switch to a light mayo. It's an easy switch. Just pick this up instead, half the calories. It saves a ton of calories. Next, we'll stay with like in that, that like kind of cold realm. Switch to some lower fat dairy. So this is light sour cream. I'm not exactly sure the, the calories on regular sour cream, but I know this is significantly lower. This is 35 calories for two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of sour cream is a lot. And then this is ricotta. I made a lasagna last night. It was so good. I have to share that recipe on here. But this is 45 calories for a quarter of a cup. Regular ricotta is 100 calories for a quarter cup. So it's just these little changes that are going to help you a ton. If you like to eat a lot of eggs for breakfast, so not just like one egg, I would recommend mixing or switching, if it's all right with you, regular eggs for egg beaters, makers, whatever, egg whites if it doesn't bother you. I don't like the white ones because it grosses me out. But um, I'm not saying eliminate eggs. I sometimes, if I really want one, like an, more than one egg, because these are 70 calories for one, this is 25 calories for a serving. So what I'll do is I'll take an egg and then mix a serving of this with it. It saves about, what's that, a third of the calories almost. And I still get my regular egg while getting a lighter bulked up version. So that's a great swap, egg beaters for egg or mix them together, let them work together. But just little ways to cut calories here and there, like eggs which are a great source of protein. Let's talk milk. This may be expensive. It is $4 for this. Well, that's the cheapest I can find it around here is $4 for this. But let's look at the difference. This is the fat-free, it has 80 calories, 13 grams of protein. So I like to really shoot high for my protein during the day. Plus this is lactose-free. Um, we're kind of lactose intolerant in my family. Um, regular milk has eight grams of protein per serving. This has 13. This is a great way to add more protein, and it's usually lower calorie, if I'm not mistaken. So, switch to a Fairlife milk or something like this. Some people say switch to almond milk. I don't like almond milk. I don't know about you. I do not. I'll use it in coffee or something like that, but I don't like to consume almond milk. I don't like the flavor. I don't. I like regular milk. So, this is a great switch. Since we're talking dairy, let's talk cheese. Fat-free cheese is a good switch. Um, it doesn't taste the best. I'm not going to lie. But calorie-wise, fantastic switch. This is definitely half the calories for the same amount than regular cheese. You could also use 2% cheese. It's like not as low as this, but it's still lower and it melts much better. But sometimes I like fat-free when I want to bulk up the cheese. So I'll mix the two, um, just like the egg. So there's another swap. I don't know why I can't find the cap for this. Um, my children probably had it. But fat-free Ready Whip. This is five calories per serving and the regular Ready Whip not extra creamy, the regular is 25 calories per serving. And you may be thinking, girl, that's not that many calories, 25. Oh, it is. Whenever you're like onto something and you don't realize how much you're putting because only five grams is a uh, two tablespoons of serving. So that's probably one, two. That's two tablespoons of whipped cream. And you think you're only using two tablespoons? So this is five calories versus 25 calories. You know what I mean? I have to eat this now. <laughs> mm. And this one, look at that. I wipe it on my leggings. This one is actually sweeter than the regular, I find. I really like it and it's lighter. It does not so so heavy. So fat-free ready whip, 
great options. Let's talk dressings. Bolt House Farms, great option. 50 calories for two tablespoons. Um, one gram of protein, two grams of protein. It's a, it's a yogurt based. I don't think it's Greek yogurt, but it's yogurt based. Um, salsas. These are the only two flavors I've had that I like. I've had the barbecue ranch. I don't like that one. Um, but these are really good. Along those same lines, this may surprise you, but Lay's Ranch Dip, if you don't like the yogurty ranch for like dipping broccoli or carrots or cucumbers, 60 calories for two tablespoons. Tell me why that's only five calories more than this. And this sure tastes a lot better. You could thin this out maybe and put it on a salad. There's an idea. But little swaps, instead of Hidden Valley, that's like 150, I'm pretty sure, is somewhere in there for two tablespoons, just make an easy switch. We're talking sauces. Let's talk barbecue sauce. This is my favorite um, sugar-free barbecue sauce. It's 15 calories per two tablespoons. I'm pretty sure regular barbecue sauce is 60 calories. It might be more than that for two tablespoons. So this tastes so good. I cannot tell the difference. My mom could not tell the difference when I served this to her. So when you're using it in a recipe, you don't realize how much you're using. It starts to really add up. So this is a great option. Switch it out. Nobody will tell the difference. Still talking sauces, I guess. Syrup. I will say this is the best sugar-free syrup. I've tried a few. This is the best. This is the Maple Gross Farms. It's five calories for two tablespoons. It's delicious. Um, I'm almost out. It is on my grocery list because I've been making some like protein waffles. Well, I shared this in my last meal prep. This is the syrup I used on them. Fantastic. My kids don't complain when I use this. My husband doesn't. It's so pasta. Good. I love pasta. This may not be a lower calorie switch, but it is a higher protein one. So this is spaghetti, but it's protein spaghetti, and this is regular spaghetti. It is actually a little lower calorie. This is 290 calories per serving and 10 grams of protein. And I don't count carbs, so I'm not going to be saying the carbs, um, but that is that one. And the regular is 200 calories and seven grams of protein. So almost double the protein and 10 less calories. I'm sorry, I keep getting the hiccups. 10 less calories per serving in this. So easy little swap. I know it is not as cheap. So if you can't do it, do not worry. It is not as affordable. But I have learned, especially through this inflation, that eating healthier is definitely more expensive. My washing machine just cut on. So sorry if you hear that in the background. Um, also, let's, this is not the same kind of pasta, but let's go with this. This is also 200 calories per serving, just anything. You can also use bonza pasta. I don't love this as much as I love the protein pasta. I like the texture of that better, but this is okay. This is 109 calories for a serving and 11 grams of protein. So this is actually higher in protein, but this is also a good option. I love a good convenience food, especially when you have kids, especially when you're busy. I'll actually be using this for my supper tonight, but chicken nuggets, chicken tenders, chicken fillets, whatever. This is the Tyson regular chicken tenders, chicken nuggets. I wish I hadn't threw away the bag from earlier because I had the air, air fried ones, but these are 270 calories for five nuggets. This brand, this is the fillets, but this brand of nuggets too, the nuggets are five for 180 calories. That is a decent swap. Um, like one piece of this filet, um, I usually weigh it out because it doesn't usually weigh the same on each one, but one piece of this filet should be 180 calories and 20 grams of protein. That is great. These are delicious. You crisp them up in the air fryer, but what makes them different is they're already air fried. They're not fried in the factory. They're air fried in the factory. So great, great swap and it's still delicious. Done. I only have a few more for you. I mean, I have a ton more I could do, but a few more in this video. There is my ice maker now. Butter is 100 calories for one tablespoon. That's a lot. Um, don't be afraid of butter. You can still use it. I still use my waffle recipe, everything, because I got to a point where I was afraid of butter, but I'm not anymore. Use some spray butter. Put this on some corn on the cob and a baked potato. Spray it in your pan. Put it on your toast. It's delicious. And if you're going to come at me for chemicals, I don't care. I don't care. If you don't think there's chemicals and stuff like this that they manufacture, there is. So I've made my own butter before. I do love that, but it tastes so much different than this does. You, you can't tell me any different. Anyway, spray, spray butter, zero calories, delicious. Four more. First, Yasso bars. They're delicious. But this shirt's like cutting me in a weird place. 
<laughs> don't let this thing that you can't have normal ice cream you can oh we have literally ice cream sandwiches in the freezer right now that are 90 calories and i eat them they're delicious but this is 100 calories for the bar it's delicious and it's a yogurt base i'm pretty sure and it has five grams of protein per bar 100 calories so good you can get them on sale all the time bread you don't have to get rid of bread to lose, to lose weight you don't but i do like the Sarah Lee delightful bread it is 45 calories per slice if you want regular bread go for it it's only 20 calories more than this but i find that that 20 calories sometimes adds up but i really like this bread i don't mind it it's 45 calories a slice versus like i don't know i'd say 55 a slice for some of the other ones some bread can get very high though some bread can be like 120 first slot per slice and that is a lot so delightful bread super easy swap tastes delicious all this stuff is not stuff that you're gonna tell a huge difference in the flavor um maybe getting used to something like a greek yogurt dressing yes um but once you're used to it it's totally normal these on the other hand are normal from the get-go these tortillas are my favorite i have not bought a regular tortilla since i started eating these even when i wasn't tracking I just still would buy these tortillas because I love them. I use them for tacos, burritos, sandwich wraps, um, quesadillas, all kinds of things. So these are the La Banderita carb counter ones. And again, I don't count my carbs, but these are calories are unbeatable. 20 calories per one of these little tortillas and two grams of protein. So you're gonna get hidden protein in these, which I love because you don't expect to get protein from your tortilla, but you do. And then I also have the taco size, which is a little bit bigger. I want to say it's 35 calories and then three grams of protein. But this is my favorite, the burrito size. These are 80 calories and six grams of protein per tortilla. And they wrap up beautifully and I love them. That is, that's one of my favorite swaps. I'm not even gonna lie. For the last thing, I'm gonna talk about some skinny syrups because I get tired of water. Um, I don't like flavored water. And sometimes I want tea or something like that. So I started making unsweet tea, that's what's in here, and I sweeten it with the Jordan's Simple Syrup. This is a zero calorie option. So this is a zero calorie drink for me. That's not carbonated, that tastes delicious, and it's just, it's something that is not water, you know, but it's not giving me all that sugar. And then along with the skinny syrups, we use these for flavorings in coffee. We sweeten yogurt with them. So this is my kid's favorite. The birthday cake we sweeten yogurt with it you can sweeten oatmeal with it if you're like me and you're not a big fan of like stevia or monk fruit like that's not a good flavor profile on my tongue i love skinny syrups they do not give you that coldness they don't give you that weird chemically sweetness my washing machine is going to spin now but they just give you like all the flavor so i sweeten desserts with them i sweeten yogurt coffee tea <laughs> all kinds of things they're a great thing to have. You can get them off the website or you can get them from Home Goods, TJ Maxx, sometimes Ross, Marshalls. And they even had the big ones. So they're about $3.99 and I have a stack of flavors now because I use them all the time. But that's all I have for you today. I really wanted to show that it's easy to make these some, some swaps because some people are like, I don't know where to start. And I know it can be overwhelming. I know it can be difficult. But there's easy changes that you can make that just make it easier the whole way. Like I said, even when I stopped tracking back in October, when I had just gotten kind of like a mental fog over it, um, I still was buying these low calorie options. I never switched back because I like them. They taste good. And I see no reason to add in those unnecessary calories when there's an option of the ones that I like. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it's a different kind of video for me, but thank you for watching it. I hope you liked it. And I hope you like and subscribe and come join our fam. And I will see you next time. Bye.